Oh. We're out banging the tins again. Fantastic. The NHS are already clapping up. It's watching the news. Now, oh look at that, brilliant. They're now saying <laughs> the virus can spread six meters if someone sneezes or coughs. So let's be extra careful. Welcome to BBC London, I'm Alice Bandukravi. The latest figures out today show there's been an increase of 950 confirmed coronavirus cases on the previous day here wow. in the capital. Tomorrow, London's newest hospital is due to open, from a vast exhibition space to an intensive yeah, care facility in just nine days. <clears throat> Leading medics from hospitals across the capital have Brilliant. been drafted in. Our correspondent Carl Mercer has been given access inside NHS Nightingale. The finishing touches are being put to London's newest hospital. Wow. It has been a mammoth task. This afternoon, they were clearing the decks, doing the last-minute checks, and moving in to find the ventilators. So quickly, Every you know patient I mean? coming here will be sedated and put it's on unbelievable. one. At that end is where the ambulances, London Ambulance Service, will bring patients in, and then they'll be admitted and brought into their beds Incredible. and put onto a ventilator. Matthew Trainer's day job is the chief exec of a London Health Trust. As of Saturday, he started here at the Nightingale. We'll play our part in supporting the rest of London to cope with this. It's been interesting working on a project of this nature where actually we all hope we're not needed. But when we are needed, we'll do everything we can to make sure we help Londoners get better, get well and get them home again. Yeah, yeah. The numbers here are overwhelming. Eventually this place will hold <coughs> 4,000 patients. There are 42 beds on each ward, 26 wards in this part of the Excel Centre alone. They aim to take up the slack when London's intensive care beds fill up. Safe, temporary, with surely. such large numbers, they're finding new ways of working. What we've got is a Nightingale ward, which is a traditional term for a long corridor of patients, as you see behind me. And that allows one nurse to look after, say, six patients at once. Wow. But it's only going to be made safe if that nurse has good visibility of the patients, which we provide here. There will be no curtains, no visitors, wow. and a huge task for the team here in keeping in touch with the families of patients. Unbelievable, Eventually it? they hope to have 200 volunteers on that team. <clears throat> Compassionate care to us means caring for people as an individual rather than just as a number. And that is something that every member of staff here is coming to work in the morning thinking about. So we will help those people who Mate, you think, you don't think make it in your and their families you know, now to you get through that this. And we have teams of people behind I mean, the scenes no waking up in the morning and going to bed at night thinking about how we can 